And we are back on overtime for the second half of broadcasting. I tell you what, we got one more half left. Carolyn Corlin, one more half until the show ends for the year and semester. This is awful. It really is. I, I'm going to miss a month of this. I mean, wow. And time has flown by. I know. But, you know, let's get down to it. College bowl season is underway. Teams are preparing and getting ready to play their final games of the season. And there are plenty of matchups I find interesting this year. You know what? Let's start locally. LSU Clemson in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. This is going to be a great game. Um, not a lot of people are talking about this, but this matchup I feel like is just incredible. You got Taj Boyd, Sammy Watkins for Clemson. A uh, high-powered offense against a stout, gritty, nasty defense, especially the defensive line play with guys like Sam Montgomery um, Kiki and Kiki Mingo. Uh, what, what's your take on this, Corlin? Who do you see coming out on top in this uh, one? I'm definitely going to LSU, simply because I just think they have way too much talent on defense for Clemson to hang But Clemson's going to put up some points, though. They can put up points against anybody, but it's going to be a great game regardless. You know, it's going to be a shootout, I think. But, you know, got to go LSU on this one. I, I'm with you there. I'm, I'm taking LSU as well. I think this is going to be a closer game than people think. Oh, a lot absolutely. of people underestimate Clemson. And that high-powered offense, um, as I said, Todd Boyd, quarterback, Sammy Watkins, receiver, I think they're going to put up some points, but ultimately I'm going to take LSU in that defense. Now, going to the Outback Bowl, something I don't think that's going to be a close game. South Carolina's playing Michigan. I think so, South Carolina is just going to blow this team out of the water. I think it's going to be closer than people think. I'm going to give it by a two-touchdown margin, simply because I think that Michigan has opened up the options at a quarterback. You know, Denard Robinson, I'm sorry, he's not a quarterback by any means. And they get they, uh, pass the torch down to Gardner. And uh, I think he's doing a lot better than what a lot of people give him credit for. And I think, you know, them using Denard Robinson as a, I guess, an athlete side, H back or whatever you want to call it, it's a lot better for the offense. I think he'll put some points up with South Carolina by 10. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take South Carolina by 17. Uh, um, fair enough. But I. You know, I just I'm not a fan of Michigan. They they played Bama early in the year. Granted, they were missing Fitzgerald Toussaint, their uh, one of their best players on that team. He's their running back, and but ultimately, I I'm just not a big Michigan believer this year. Um, you know that all their big games they played uh, Notre Dame, Alabama, they got just flat out manhandled. Um, and yeah, South yeah. Carolina is a physical football team along with Notre Dame and Alabama. And I think South Carolina is one of the more physical teams in the country, and I think that's going to come into play in this game. Uh, now going to the Capital One Bowl, Georgia at Nebraska. Well, not at, but uh, Georgia-Nebraska matchup. This is a game I'm honestly worried about being a blowout. I'm a huge Georgia, Georgia fan uh, this year. I like Jarvis Jones, love Aaron Murray. Um, Nebraska. I don't think Nebraska can hang with a big dog. Maybe that's just me. I, I I'm with you there. I'm skeptical about Nebraska. I just I I'm worried about this one getting ugly and getting ugly early. So I, I'm gonna take Georgia. I just hope it's not a blowout. I'm gonna definitely go with Georgia. I mean, I'm I'm the same way with you. I hope it's not a blowout. I mean, Nebraska is so up and down this year. I think when they played in Wisconsin, what was the score like seventy to? Oh, they got they murdered, by murdered by Wisconsin. By Wisconsin and the team that's physical, I'm not say Adams physical. Had best, but you know, Wisconsin didn't have the best season this year. They were in transition, with trying to find a new quarterback, trying to find an identity of the team. Period. But I don't know. Georgia is gonna get ugly. Yeah, and, and I'm with you. I think it definitely has the potential to get on ugly. I think Jarvis Jones is gonna have a huge game for Georgia. And you know, don't tell me I'm SEC buys. Three, I, I got three SEC teams winning right now. Um, now, let's uh, before we get into the major matchups, that is the BCS matchups, uh, let's go with the Cotton Bowl here. A&M at Oklahoma. Um, 
You know, uh, a game a lot of people are interested to see. How, how is A&M going to fare again? Going back to a Big 12 school. Um, I think this game's going to be close. It's going to be a fun game to watch, but I'm going to... I'm going to take A&M and Johnny Football here. Two words, Johnny Football. I, I can't bet against him. Plus, I'm an A&M fan. So, you know, uh, Heisman winner, I think he's going to keep that legacy going. And A&M wins a close one against Oklahoma in the Cotton Bowl. And Cortland has also taken A&M. Now, Johnny Football. Greatest. Uh, That's the greatest nickname ever. I'm sorry. It really is. Nothing says America like Johnny Football. Um, who came up with that? Honestly, I have no idea who did, but whoever did is an absolute genius. America. 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 Um, now, you know, a game I didn't put on here is the Northern Illinois game that they're in. Uh, who are they even playing again? Uh, Florida State. Florida State. Yeah, irrelevancy. You know, we'll pick that game anyway. Um, Florida State. Yeah, Go Florida. Talk that one Florida back. State. Florida State. I I like Jordan Lynch, but uh, sorry, bud. You're 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 playing with the big dogs. You lost to Iowa. If Florida State loses, wow. Um, Jimbo Fisher needs to be fired. They said. I wouldn't go that far, but wow, that'll be bad. I'm just exaggerating. Well, of course, of course. Um, all right, so let's keep in the BCS, the Fiesta Bowl, Oregon, Kansas State. This is the game I'm more anxious to see than any other game right now. Uh, this is basically national championship part two. If there were a four-team playoff this year, uh, these were the Oregon, Kansas State, Notre Dame, and Bama were the four teams that were competing for the national title for the longest time. I'm so glad they got matched up together. I'm going to take Oregon. I, I, I'm Another game I'm kind of skeptical about becoming a blowout, but I, I'm going to give Kansas State the benefit of the doubt here. I think they're going to hang close. Oregon wins by eight. Yeah, I'm definitely going with Oregon, too. Like, that's that offense is just too nasty that they have. And you and I love State, Oregon. Absolutely. We've already been saying that since week one. <laughs> you know, uh, Oregon run offense is too nasty. Their defense is nasty. Special teams is nasty. They're a complete football team. They're a complete team. football team, exactly. So I'm going to go with the nastiness and I'm going to go with the Ducks. The Ducks. The mighty Ducks. <laughs> um, Orange Bowl, Louisville, Florida. A lot of people are taking this one to be a blowout. Louisville's not that bad, though. Not so fast, my friend. Uh, Florida's defense is great. Offense, limited. Louisville. Um, Bridgewater. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater. Great quarterback. He, he led the team back to come back with a broken leg. Oh, yeah. that That's cool. something I read a few weeks ago. I, I forgot what he had hurt, but he, he was playing with two injuries, yeah, and he led the team to a comeback win in the Big East Championship. High ankle sprain and a sprained wrist or a broken wrist. Yeah, broken hand. wrist and a high ankle sprain. Right. That's what it was. That That's impressive. That's impressive. As soon as I read that, I'm like, wow, Teddy Bridgewater, you just immediately became one of my Did favorite you watch players. Did uh, We watched it in the hotel. Right. Oh. That was when we were yeah. in Oregon State, man. I'm slipping. But, uh... You know what? I, I'm still going to take Florida. I'm going to stick with the SEC here. Uh, I think they'll win by three points. Ooh, uh, you saying by three? Uh, I'm going to go with like ten maybe. But, you know, not taking anything away from Louisville. I'm still going to Florida regardless. But, you know, Teddy Bridgewater, this guy is tough. You know, if any quarterback can stand in the pocket and don't move and just sit there and pick your defense apart without even being mobile, that's a playmaker right there. Reminds me of Big Ben a little bit. Big Ben. He's not big at all. But, you know. No. <laughs> Rose Bowl. Wisconsin Stanford. Another intriguing matchup. Two physical football teams. I like to run the ball. I'm gonna go with Stephen Taylor and the Stanford Cardinals. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to go with the Stanford Cardinals myself. I just don't think Wisconsin has it has enough in the tank this year. Monty Ball, granted, he's a great running back. You know, still gonna put some points up on the board regardless, but you know, I just think Wisconsin I mean Stafford, their run defense is just too nasty. Uh, I think so. I think they'll they'll limit Monty Ball and they're Wisconsin. If they want to win, they're going to need good quarterback play, and I just don't see it happening. Uh, now to the national championship, the game everyone is anticipating. I'm going against the SEC here. It has finally come to make my decision. I'm not betting against Notre Dame and Man Titeo, Brian Kelly. Uh, I think this is going to be a great game. I think it'll be one of the better national championships in years. I'm taking the Irish. Uh -oh. I think my heart says Notre Dame, but my mind is telling me Alabama. But this is the cutest game, though. 
running down to you a little bit that Mikey. All right. If Notre Dame finds a way to stop TJ Yeldon and Eddie Lacy, yeah, you can count the national championships. But until then, I'm going to have to go with Bama and Nick Saban because you know Nick Saban, he's not going to lose twice in one year. And it seems like that's, that's been the culture of Alabama football since he's been there, so I'm just going with Nick Saban. All good things must come to an end. The SEC streak will end this year. I'm calling it. <laughs> Notre Dame, I, I like their run, D. Um, this is going to be the football we talked about earlier in the show. Smash mouth, ground and pound football. And you know what? I, I, did, I, I can't believe that Notre Dame's back on top of the college football world in the national championship game against Bama. This is a classic matchup. We're talking two programs full of history, full of winning championships, and I am excited to see this happen. I have got it marked down on my calendar, and I cannot wait till this game kicks off. This is overtime. Stay tuned. We got the fourth quarter coming up. We're going to do a little wrap-up uh, this year and this semester in sports. Stay tuned to hear what we got to say. Running to Toto. Toto supports programming on 91.5.